Now, what's real, what's not? Here at KXY, you've called us and told us fake money is turning up in stores around town. After getting your reports, we spoke with the Secret Service agent in charge of investigating fake money, and he says it's become easier and easier for con artists to make the stuff, and that's costing all of us in the long run. KXY Force Hawk Hammer has the exclusive story tonight. The worst thing about this, the Secret Service told me counterfeit money can be passed to anyone, even if you aren't a business owner. You can be passed a phony bill at a yard sale or a farmer's market. A single person in Spokane Secret Service told me in one case spread $25,000 in fake money. We're talking cold hard cash. You know, common folks in the community were, were being, were victimized, but not the real stuff. We're talking counterfeit. It's scary. I mean, and it's disappointing. KXLY went digging into this criminal enterprise, which led us to the Secret Service here in Spokane. It was the reason we were created, and it is one of our core violations that, that we investigate. He says the spread of counterfeit cash like this is costing businesses and everyday folks upwards of $200,000 each year. And that number is on the rise. Elizabeth Bizek co-owns Lovely Buds North and knows how getting conned feels firsthand. It was 26 counterfeit bills in one deposit for a total of $520. She says she doesn't want anybody else to lose out on their hard-earned money because all it takes is a few extra seconds, even on busy days, to look through the money. The worst one was truly just like bad toddler construction. But many others were much better like this 20 compared here to a real one. Because anymore, all you really need is a desktop printer. It's really that easy, and, the, and depending on the quality of their printer, uh, can actually manufacture um, very good quality counterfeit notes. Like these hundreds, real or fake, both of them fake. So how do you tell? Your best bet for most bills? Check for the watermark by holding it up to the light. A common trick from counterfeiters is to take real single dollar bills, remove the ink, and reprint a higher denomination. That might get the bills to feel right, but one dollar bills don't have a watermark. A common way businesses check for fakes is to also use a special pen, but it's not foolproof. Either they will treat their counterfeit note with some type of starch or, or chemical, and it will give the you know the potential victim a false reading. Another method LaGuardia has seen Chinese character bills easily ordered online and then doodled on to cover up the characters and make them look real. Commonly what is passed is the is the 20, a counterfeit 20. So he says be on the lookout because the last person holding the fakes is the one who pays the price. Two hundred thousand dollars a year could do a lot of good in Spokane. In Spokane I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News.